Joining me now, former England international Dean Headley. Uh, great to be with you, Dean. Hello. Hi, yeah, how are you? Very well, thank you. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, uh, just then, um, first assignment, been at Flintoff Academy, and then uh, just about to visit another one. Fantastic. And uh, what sort of things have been going on down there in Gloucester? Uh, well, basically, um, you've got the uh, Flintoff, you've got a, a cap and um, we'll be just uh, visiting and then giving them a, a few extra coaching tips and hopefully the boys are enjoying themselves. And uh, why do you think initiatives such as this are important? Uh, one, I think it gives, it gives boys um, get boys and girls you know, the opportunity to learn a little bit more and also I think that, uh, you know, especially in this day and age, I think it's uh, important that they go to the right sort of people. So, um, Doing camps like this um, certainly gets people to encourage the game, and also, you know, quite often they don't meet uh, ex players or, or former or current players, and um, you know, that, hopefully that induces them a bit like what the Olympics will hopefully do to a number of people for the next Olympic Games. And uh, how have you got involved with it? Uh, basically, um, uh, obviously, Freddie can't go to every camp, so. Um, Activate Sport, who run, who run the Flintoff Academy, um, on, on Freddie's behalf. Freddie visits a certain amount, but obviously makes sure that if he can't be there, he sends former test players to go and um, and, and help refuse those children. And so I would, I, I'd start doing it this year, and hopefully I, I'd do a few more. Mm. Uh, Alex Shooter does them, Mark Van does them, Paul Nixon does them. Um, so, you know, quite an array of different people. I know Jimmy Anderson has been to them before, so, um, you know, it's all shared about, and uh, we all muck in. And uh, looking back, perhaps, to when you were getting into the game, is this the sort of opportunity that you think you might have benefited from or enjoyed? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, obviously, uh, it's a long time since I was a little boy, and, um, you know, it's more like self-development and, you know, playing down the street. and. And these things aren't there to replace that. I think it's still important that these boys go for a week, have some training, and then, you know, they copy it back in the playground or down the side of their house or, you know, uh, in the park. They, they, they carry it on, and, and that's your quickest learning curve if you can take some of what they're doing at these camps and then take it into their everyday life, really. So this morning, for instance, I did a thing that I did when I was a kid because I got fed up with losing balls. I got a stump out and just batted against him with a stump and uh, you know I did pretty well I think I got out once and uh, with about 40, 45 balls bowled at me so you know the boys were like wow you know but it gives, it gives them a different focus and more to the point it gives them a challenge and, and what I find that children love challenges.